Hello from Singapore. This is Galinda. Today is April the fourteenth, day eight of the circuit breaker period in Singapore. Most workplaces have shut, and people have started working from home. PM Lee Hsien Loong has advised Singaporeans to stay home, and only to leave to do essential things. This means. More people are expected to spend their time at home. For some families across the island, home is no different from a prison. In the context of COVID-19 crisis, there has been an increasing trend of domestic violence globally, as more countries go into lockdown. Singapore is part of this worrying trend. With gender equality advocacy group aware, who have reported a spike in reports of domestic violence, I've googled their homepage, but for whatever reasons, the website uses the term family violence instead of domestic violence. In my opinion, this creates a barrier for the victims who are suffering in silence. Domestic violence is not a family matter. Domestic violence should never be a family secret. Before changing my career to work in childcare and to become a maternity nurse and nanny, I was working as an accredited, independent domestic violence advisor in London. I was based at London police stations, drug and alcohol centres, community centres, and mental health wards in hospitals. Throughout the years. I have helped and supported countless victims of domestic violence, stalking, sexual violence, and human trafficking, both males and females. In the month of March last month, Aware has recorded 619 distressed calls. The organisation reported that emotional and psychological abuse has increased recently by 33%. As a trained professional in this field, my concerns and my thoughts go out to all the victims suffering in silence, trapped at home with their perpetrators. Today, I've spent some time to look into the homepage of the organisation Aware, and I have to say that I'm shocked and surprised to read that in Singapore. Protection orders are not available to protect people in non-marital, intimate relationships. This is very shocking and very alarming, as domestic violence does not only occur between married couples. In the UK, two women being murdered each week, and thirty men per year by their perpetrators, current and past. Intimate partners. On average, there would have been 35 assaults before a victim calls the police. In addition, about 400 people committed suicide each year, who have attended hospitals for domestic violence-related injuries. Every romantic relationship is different. But there is one thing we all should know, and should always remember, that is, abuse does not belong in a relationship, whether it is physical, emotional, sexual, or financial. Don't confuse abuse with love. No one has the right to hurt you, control you, or make you feel afraid. Even if they say they do it because they love you, if you are being abused, you may feel trapped, afraid, sad, angry, shocked, confused, or even ashamed. You may even feel like it is your fault. It's not. Please, take the first step to safety, and talk to someone.